and hello everyone welcome back to another Lua tutorial in this tutorial we'll be learning how to work with files so reading files and writing to them let's first try to create a file that is pretty simple so let me just also open up my file viewer here so we can see if any files appear io.output and here we can pass in a file we want to create. So my file .txt. This will create a file, my file .txt. If I open the containing folder, you'll see there's a my file .txt now. If I were to delete it from here, you'll notice it also deletes it from here. This here is the same as this here. Anyhow, so we create this file then that will happen. But take note, it will empty the file if it already exists. So if I go and put some text here, let's actually have it here on the side of the screen, and I decide I want to execute this, as you can see, it empties the file. So you should take note here, it will create the file, but if it already exists, it will empty the file. Now this output can be used also with writing to a file. So io.write. And here you can put some text you want in the file. Hello world. And we just have to io.close whenever we use any of these. Because you don't want the file to be open and then later on try to work with it again. Or if other program tries to work with it but yours already has it open, it will cause issues. So you should always close the file after working with it. Now, if we were to run this, we can actually show this here at the side again. We run it, we get hello world. If we run it again, we'll get the same output because this anyways rewrites this file. It will empty it if there's nothing inside of it or if even if there is something inside of it. Now, that's the first way you can write to a file. Now, the first way to read from a file, we go io input this time so instead of output we are using input and in the file so my file.txt then we can of course io.close and here we can say local file data is equal to io.read and then we can just say asterisk all this will read everything inside of this file and you can of course print file data we run it, we get hello world. We can add some more like x2, x3, I am cool. If we save that and we run it here, we'll get hello world, x2, x3, I am cool. So we first take the file we want to read and say it's an input file because we want to take input from that file. Then we read it with the asterisk all, which means read everything inside of this file. And we can print the data that we read and then we can close the file or we could close the file and then print the data whichever you prefer so that's the first way to read and write a file now the second method is what you'll most likely see being used so let's first try and write to a file that will be local and we can say what variable we want to save this file in so file io.open the file name, so my file.txt, and then what you want to do. So here we could specify all of these. So read, write, append, read and write, write and read, I think, append and everything else. Read byte, write byte, append byte, and so on and so forth. But we're mainly going to be focusing on these here. So first we'll have write. Now W just means write, so we'll write data to a file. So here we can then say, if file is not equal to nil, so if the file we're trying to open exists, then, so if the file we're trying to open can be opened, then we want to go file, write, and we can just say, hello there. 
and I will write to the file. And then of course file close. Else, if we could not open this file, we could just print could not open the file. Now if we were to run this, we'll get hello there. If we were to delete this file and then run it, it will generate the file and enter hello there. So this method is usually the preferred method above io.output as well as io.input because we'll learn how to read right now. Now there are multiple ways you can read from a file. One way you can do it is going file and then read and here we can just specify asterisk all and this will read everything. So if we go here and say x2, x3, goodbye, and we read it. Of course, we should maybe print out what we get. So print, then we get hello there, x2, x3, goodbye. You also have asterisk line, which will only read one line. So if we go here, hello there. If we then do it a few times, each time we do this, it will read a new line. So hello there, x2, x3. So if you want to read line by line, this is a good way to go about it by using this asterisk line. Otherwise, you can just go asterisk all and that will read everything. And then last but not least, let's take a look on how to append it to a file. Now, when you write to a file, you will overwrite everything that's already inside of the file. So if I were to go here, W and then say write and change this to goodbye. Then it will overwrite everything and also doesn't help if you print it. But it will overwrite everything and add our goodbye. But what if we wanted to add something to the end of this file? Then we could use A, which means append. So then we can say appended text. If we run this, we'll get appended text. If you wanted to go to the next line, you could use a backslash n here, which means new line. Appended text two. Now it's appended text two on the second line. So that's how to append. And that's actually how to read and write files. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all again in the next Lua tutorial.